Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. This is the other side of my kitchen, um, which is why I've got the mic on because I'm so much further away. But I just thought I would show you tonight because my wee brain's doing its thing. Um, what I'm looking to do with this side of the kitchen. So there, as you can see, that's the handles of the treadmill. And behind that is a storage heater. So what I want to do is take that out and clear that wall because the door's just there just at the other side of the storage heater. There we have the chest freezer. I've got my fridge behind me with stuff stacked on top of it. My freezer with bike charger and the long life milk that needs to get done. And what I am thinking, because originally I was just going to put a cupboard there and a cupboard there, and I have decided that to get more prep space, but also for when I look to sell the house in a few years, it would be better if we moved, take out the storage heater, move the chest freezer around there, take out the shelf, move the big upright freezer and have cabinets going right across. So basically right across behind me, because then even if I sell it, I can still keep this as the dining area that people could still sit and eat here and have the cabinets above them and have extra storage space. So this is my cunning plan. So welcome to the other side of my kitchen. As I say, there's the treadmill there, which is the storage heater, which hasn't been on for years. That's a mop brush thing. Um, chest freezer here, which is about, I think it's just about a metre. So 90 centimetres, so about three foot, just over three foot wide. Normal fridge and the baskets there are packets like your microwave rice your sauce mixes then we have the jar lids then we have my microphone for when i'm doing podcasts and then a basket and a cake tin that i haven't done now if you remember me telling you about how dehydrated veggies remember the white veggies that was where i kept everything now i've still got the powders up there i need to get that moved um, i need to make cupboard space for it so i'm now I've spoke to Patrick tonight and gone, can we do this instead of what I originally thought? And hopefully we can. So that is the cunning plan. So I just thought I would show you and go, imagine if that's all got cupboards. How many preps could I have in my kitchen? Oh my goodness, that would be fabulous. So that is that is my intention. And I know some people are going to be like, Karen, have you not got enough? No, no, I don't have enough. Um, there's all in the news just now about the tanks going to Ukraine and Russia's seemingly not happy about that. And there's also the stuff about the UK um, money stuff. And I'm getting too old. I don't want to be. I mean, I had a friend whose mother, when she was a pensioner, was literally scraping penny to penny. I was on a student grant and I helped her out. That's how bad it was for pensioners at that time. And trust me, it's a lot worse now. So that is my intention, is that I will get this all done, get it prepped up, and when I move into my wee flat, which I intend having as a wee ground floor flat in a few years, I will be able to take that with me and I will have stocks and I can keep things going. That's the plan. I know I'm, I'm very handsy today, what can I say? My hands are going 19 to the dozen. So yes, that is my... That's the plan, and I know people had said, oh, let's see the other side of what you're talking about. So here you go. This is the other side of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> oh, and the pink floof. Hang on. I'm not sure if you could actually see that in the corner of your picture. It's a scarf. This was years ago when all this um, wool was the rage. And I knitted scarves because you couldn't see the mistakes because of all the fluff. So, yes, that's my purple scarf. Top of the freezer, that's where the cat normally sits if I'm kicking about, but she's gone out tonight. So, yes, that is my plan. So, fingers crossed, by this weekend, Patrick should be here and should be planning. And we can get it done very soon because I really, really want more cupboards. So, I'm going to go now and get something to eat and I will catch you later. Welcome to the first Prime of Midlife fat ball thing. Mandy and I decided we're going to look after the birdies. 
So there is the first um, food hanging thing because there are so many birds here. As you know, we have all of this and the river and stuff. And there were so many birdies, we thought we'd go and get some stuff from the local shop. So this is going to be an ongoing thing to support local shops. Now, I'm just going to walk you this way because Mandy's walking that way and that would have the sun in your face. <laughs> And there's our second one. So this is because when we saw so many birdies yesterday, we Mandy had said about the insect population and we thought, do you know something? As a channel, with the monetization, as well as the food banks and such, we shall be doing bird feeding. So you've seen the seed one, there's the fat ball one again, and across there is normally the birdies, and the deer, and uh, you can probably see by the trees, the beavers, which we haven't seen yet. So, yeah, there's another thing we're doing as a channel. <laughs>